one more thing I want to say about our perception of reality. Let me put it in the form of, a, of an analogy. You've got the President of the United States. Now, he has to get feedback. Or you've got the Pope in Rome, who has to get feedback from the whole church. Now you've got millions of items that are supposed to be fed to the president, but he could hardly take all of that in, much less digest it. So he has people whom he trusts to make abstractions, abstracts, to summarize things, to uh, monitor, to filter, and then some of it gets to his desk. Now this is what's happening to us. From every pore of our living cell of our body and from all the senses, we're getting feedback from reality. But we're filtering things out constantly. Who's doing the filtering? Very important to find out. Your conditioning, your culture, your programming, the way you were taught to see things and to experience things, even your language. Lots of filtering going on so that you will see things sometimes that are not there. And sometimes you don't see things that are there. That's so common. You've only got to look at a paranoid person who's feeling all threatened by something that isn't there who's constantly interpreting reality in terms of certain experiences of the past or certain conditioning that he or she has. And there's another big crook inside there who's doing the filtering. It's called an attachment. Desire, craving. The root of sorrow is craving. Craving distorts perception. It destroys perception. You've got your fears and your desires. As Samuel Johnson said, the knowledge that he has, that he is to swing from a scaffold or that he is to be hanged within a week wonderfully concentrates a man's mind. <laughs> you Blot out everything else. You're concentrated only on this. Fear. Or desire. Craving. Look how we, we have been brought up. We were drugged when we were young. And we were brought up to need people. For what? For acceptance. For approval. For appreciation. For applause for what they call success. Here are words that do not correspond to reality. They're conventions. Like political realities. Conventions. Things invented, but we don't realize that they don't correspond to reality. Success. What is that? That is what this particular group decided is a good thing. Another particular group will decide it's a bad thing. What is good in Washington might be considered bad in a Cartusian monastery. Success in political circles might be considered failure in other circles. These are conventions. But we treat them like realities, don't we? Now, what happened to us when we were young? We were programmed. We were taught. We were programmed to unhappiness. This is amazing. You cannot not be unhappy. Why? Because they taught you, and they taught me, they taught all of us, that in order to be happy, you need, you name it, money, success, a beautiful or handsome partner in life, a good job, a friendship, spirituality, God, you name it. Unless you get these things, you're not going to be happy. You need them. Now that is what I call an attachment. 
an attachment is a belief that without something, you are not going to be happy. Once you get convinced of that, and my, that has got into our subconscious, it's got stamped into our nerves, to the roots of our being. But how could I be happy unless I have good health? You know, I'll tell you something. I have met people dying of cancer who are happy. But how could I be happy if I know I'm going to die? You all know of people who are happy when they're meeting death. But how could I be happy if I don't have money? You know something? This guy has got a million dollars in the bank and he's feeling insecure. The other guy has got practically no money and he doesn't seem to feel any insecurity at all. He was programmed differently, that's all. Useless exhorting the first guy about what to do. He needs understanding. He needs to understand. That's where I was talking about awareness. Exhortations are no great help, as I'm going to tell you very soon. You need to understand. You've been programmed. It's a false belief. See it as false. See it as a fantasy.